We start with the latest on that Chinese spy balloon and the rising tensions with Beijing over the Biden administration's decision to shoot it down. A senior defense officials tell NBC News that the Pentagon has been analyzing the remnants of the balloon over the past few days after it was shot down off the coast of South Carolina on Saturday. According to the Defense Department, the balloon first entered U.S. airspace on January 28th by way of the Aleutian Islands, and it then briefly crossed into Canada before re-entering U.S. territory on Tuesday via Idaho and floating across the Midwest to South Carolina. Speaking after Saturday's shoot-down operation, President Biden gave new insight into why the balloon wasn't brought down sooner. On Wednesday, when I was briefed on the balloon, I ordered the Pentagon to shoot it down on Wednesday as soon as possible. I told them to shoot it down. On Wednesday? On Wednesday. But the recommendation They said to me, let's wait till the safest place to do it. The violation of international law led to the White House canceling Secretary of State Anthony Blinken's planned visit to Beijing last week, which was to have been the first by a cabinet member since the Biden administration took office. That's a message. Despite multiple statements from the Chinese government accusing the White House of overreacting to a so-called weather balloon that drifted off course, U.S. officials have doubled down on their position that the balloon intentionally crossed into North America to, quote, monitor sensitive military sites. So, Joe, uh, a lot of questions here. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of questions, a lot of hyperbole, a lot of uh, a, a lot of, of panting and heavy breathing on Twitter over the past weekend. Uh, and uh, surprisingly, not really not surprisingly, a lot of Republicans are making total fools of themselves with statements that they're making uh, about the balloon. Uh, Richard Haas, uh, I won't even say their names because uh, why, why dignify their remarks with, with uh, any comments? Um, but the Pentagon decided uh, that it would be best not to shoot the balloon down on a Wednesday. Um, and uh, the idea, we have these people screeching and howling, um, members of Congress, members of the Senate, people who are supposed to know better about how this is the end of Western civilization as we know it, and we've backed down. This is, you know, this is, the, 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 this is, is Napoleon retreating in, in you know, the winter as the Russians go. I mean, it, again, the lunacy as if they don't spy on us and we don't spy on them. Let me let me uh, step into the fray here with you and suggest that, yes, uh, this is a problem and it's a problem that needed to be taken care of uh, and was. Uh, and it's a problem that we need to talk to the Chinese about. But well, we can't do that if we're canceling the first uh, diplomatic uh, mission that we've had there since Biden was president of the United States. Was it a mistake to cancel that meeting despite the balloon over Montana? Uh, I think it was. I would have gone ahead with the with the diplomacy. We would have given the uh, secretary of state the first chance in a half dozen years to, che to speak with Xi Jinping, who's the only person there who really matters. We've got enormous issues on the agenda, including growing Chinese support for Russia and what it's doing in, in Ukraine. Obviously, we don't want uh, Taiwan to trigger a war between the world's two largest economies. So we have real issues. To, to discuss with China. It's not the first time they've sent balloons over us. There's some mystery here, Joe, as to why this one seems to have been lower, why it was observed. The one thing I'm pretty sure is that even though China was intentional in sending a surveillance balloon this way, they were not intentional. They did not want to uh, disrupt uh, this summit. China's been on a charm offensive for the last few months, ever since uh, President Xi and Biden met in, in Bali. They want things to, to calm down. If they want wanted to cause a crisis between the United States, trust me, they got a lot of ways to do it. And my guess is right. they begin it with, with Taiwan. So I think this was truly unintentional. I think we're, you know, we, we probably got it wrong in canceling the visit. And I think the criticisms that we should have shot it down sooner, well, you know, this was not a, um, uh, something where the Chinese learned a whole lot, as best I can tell. We seem to have interfered with the ability of the balloon to, to glean certain uh, intelligence. As you pointed out, it's uh, hardly the uh, 
uh, only area of surveillance or espionage that they carry out on us or, or vice versa. And I just make a larger are the, are, point. Are that, are that, again, are that we carry out on them. This, sure. The, the, the fact that, that some of these Republicans are so shocked that this actually happens, horrified. Uh, I mean, we do it all the time. Uh, we, we, we surveil them all the time. It's what happens. And again, this is, this is an incursion and we should treat it seriously. But, mm -hmm. but should we declare at the end of Western civilization and should we cancel <laughs> a summit when we have, again, like you said, uh, a war in Ukraine there and we, we've got to talk to Xi because right now Xi has been the person, along with Modi, that sent the message to Putin, hey, if you use tactical nuclear weapons, all bets are off. Uh, we're 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 going to come out strongly against you, and that that's you know they they they're putting boundaries around Putin, um, and then you, like you said, we have Taiwan. Uh, that's that's of growing concern. We we've got a, a, an economic slowdown. We need to work. There are there are thousands of issues that the world's uh, last two superpowers need to discuss that we haven't been able to discuss on the highest level. And again, this is one of those just grow up moments. Yes, it happened. Yes, it's bad. Let's take it to the table and talk to she about it. Absolutely. This is why God invented diplomacy. Uh, you have diplomacy not because you don't have problems, but because you, you do. Uh, but this is not the Cuban Missile Crisis. This is not a, a major is, his, event in the history of, 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 the, of the modern world. Again, I don't see uh, the Chinese were out to make a, a larger point. Indeed, we don't exactly know who authorized this and when it was authorized. We don't know what their intentions were, other than they clearly were sending a balloon to gather some kind of... Uh, uh, information. Let me just make one other point, and then I'll stop, which is that in crises, it's sometimes good to slow things down. The, the Republican hyperventilating here, it seems to oh. me, goes against crisis management. The whole idea is to slow things down, to calm things down, not to overreact, and so forth. That's the lesson of how Kennedy handled the missile crisis. So again, I actually think the administration got it about right, not acting precipitously, shooting it down when it was over, over uh, water. And now I think the, the challenge is to get things back back on track. Uh, and again, less of a need to hyperventilate if you're talking about a balloon. <laughs> well, it's not just any balloon. From Beijing. Well, uh, again, it's serious. We've talked about it being serious, but some of the statements from the Republicans, uh, uh, especially in the Senate, have just been asinine. And these jackasses going out again, I'll get my shotgun, I'm going to shoot down the balloon. Okay. Uh, you know, seriously, they again, they just they make clowns of themselves. Let's bring